last season on The Parenthood. You know what, old boy? Don't play us. We want your jacket and the kids watch. Yo, man, you crazy, man. Well, you about to get stomped out, Dean. You and little big man. Yo, man, listen, I told you it ain't the right time, man. Now's the right time for us. Give it up! I was getting my present from Mrs. Green's house, and these three guys jumped us. And I could have done something, man, but you always telling us not to fight. No, TK, you did the right thing. I lost my grandpa's watch for good. Yo, man, I want the watch, dog. Well, you crazy, because I ain't giving you nothing, fool. Man, give me the watch now, punk. Oh, what? What? What you want to I'm going to give you something to remember me by now, boy. <clears throat> Yo, Trey, what's happening? I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, I need a gun. All right, yo, I'm coming to get it, all right? Mom, Dad, TK wanted to go get the gun. A gun? What? I think he tried to go get my watch and got beat up. Uh, l l let's, let's not panic. Where did you guys get robbed? Right outside Mrs. Green's apartment. Uh, I, I know where that is. I, I better get over there. Robert, be careful, please. Yeah. Do you really want to go to jail over a jacket? A pair of sneakers. Come on, TK. Me the gun. Me the gun. Where's Robert? Yo, Mrs. P, this, this isn't my fault. I, 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 di I didn't ask you that. Where is Robert? He's in intensive care. I swear, this wasn't my fault. Not your fault. Robert goes down there to save you, and he ends up in intensive care. Doctor, I'm, I'm Mrs. Peterson. How, well, how's my husband? Your husband's been shot. Oh, my God. How, how bad is he? He's in a coma. Well, well, can we see him? You can, but not the children. It's our policy. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I watched the kids. Oh, my God, he's been shot in the head. No, no, Mrs. Peterson. Actually, he has a flesh wound in his uh, posterior. Why is his head bandaged? Well, when he got shot, he fell and he hit his head on the sidewalk. That's what caused the coma. How long is he going to be like this? Could be a couple of days, and it could be much longer. What, what can I do? Pray. Be okay. He's not gonna die, is he? I just don't even think that. You hungry? I'm kind of hungry. There's a vending machine right over there. Hey, here goes some money. Keep your money, TK. We don't need anything from you. Look, Nick, Cece, here's some money. You guys go get something, okay? Hey, look, Zari, this wasn't my fault. <gasps> wasn't your fault? TK, this was your fault. My dad went down there to stop you from doing something stupid. Look what happened. 
Look, Zara, I was handling things, and your father Shut came up, out of TK! Nowhere. Shut up! I don't want to hear anything you have to say. I'm sick of your excuses. But I'm trying to... But nothing. My dad went down there because he considers you to be family. That's what family does. We take care of each other. Zaria, where are Nicholas and Cece? They want to go get some candy. Sweetheart, I want you to take the kids home. Mama, I want to stay. I know you do, baby. But I don't want them spending the night here if it comes to that. Hey, don't even worry, Mrs. P. We'll handle them. TK, I'd say you've done enough. Mrs. P, I know you're mad at you me. You have no idea. We gave you so many chances. We took you into our home and treated you as if you were one of our own children. Can I make it up to you? You can pack your bags. I'm calling your social worker. I want you out of my house. Come on, baby. Baby, I know you're gonna be okay. I know it. You're gonna wake up soon. And I'll be standing right here beside you. I'm sorry, Mrs. Peterson. Visiting hours are over. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I understand, ma'am, but hospital policy it's, states I'm that. not leaving my husband. I'll make the arrangements. Your husband's a lucky man to have someone like you. No, I'm the lucky one. I have a man in my life who means the world to me. Oh, honey, honey, if you can hear me, oh, please come back to me. I need you. We need you. Oh, God, please don't take my husband away from me. Jenny, honey, I'm right here. I'm okay, baby. It's okay. She can't hear you, Robert. Who, who are you? Who am I? Hello? <laughs> I'm a new guy in the village, people. <laughs> I'm an angel, Robert. It's time for you to come with me. You're dead. I don't understand. I'm dead. Well, you're in spirit form, Robbie Rob. You're dead. You're toast. You're 187. You're saying I'm dead. Look, there's a dead body there. There's a spirit here. You do the math. No, 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 no this can't be. Uh, Jerry, tell him, tell him I'm not dead. Yeah, uh, tell him he's not dead, Jerry. It's no use, Mr. Peterson. Come along. No, 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 Jerry, tell him there's been a big mistake. Jerry, Jerry! See? Does that convince you? It can't be. I mean, there, there was so many things that I didn't get to do. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Max. I'm with this Soul Recovery Unit. Soul Recovery Unit. I know, it sounds like something from MTV. I've only been on it for about a week, but, um, you know, they used to be called the Grim Reaper. Now we're more politically correct. <laughs> At the Soul Recovery Unit, we feel we should be a little bit more sensitive. So, let's go, dead guy. <laughs> Mr. Peterson, I don't think you're understanding this. It's time for you to go to heaven. Now, come on. I mean, you're just going to walk through a wall? Well, you don't have to do that, but it's one of the cool things that they allow you to do. Check this out. Let's go, Peterson. <laughs> You'll get it with practice. So this is heaven. What, 
but what about the tunnel and seeing the light and seeing old relatives? Oh, that's just marketing. I can't believe people still fall for that. <laughs> hey, what's this line for? Oh, this is where you check in after you check out. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Mr. Jordan over at the podium. Maybe he can help me. Fresh angel hair pasta. We got tambourines, hearts, maps to the saints' homes. It's all right here. Hey. Hey. Is, is, isn't that Jimi Hendrix? That's Jimmy. You could tell by all the purple haze. We got a lot of famous people up here. Really? Bruce Lee! Bruce. Wah! Wah! Hey, that's my third grade school teacher, Mr. Taylor. He made it. They're all going over to Cloud Nine. There's a big jam session with Miles and Dizzy. And once they get started, they never stop. Never. You're gonna love it up here, Peterson. I, I, I gotta tell you, there's been a big mistake. I, I feel it. You're gonna have to take that up with Mr. Jordan. And uh, you're next. State your name and cause of death? Uh, Robert Peterson, but, I, but I'm not dead yet. Well, if you're not, you won't be in the book. What's the cause of death? I got shot in my, um... He got shot in the booty. <laughs> and that killed you? That's what I've been trying to tell him. I'm not dead. And uh, let's just check the book. No, you're not in this book. Great. I'm out of here. Hey, don't get too excited. Maybe you're in the other book. <laughs> I guess there's been a mistake. I'm sorry, Peterson. Way to go, Max. This is your second screw-up this week. Hey, what are you talking about? You remember that guy who jumped off the building? Hey, that was a great save. I got his soul before he touched the ground. He was a stunt man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Peterson. Uh, no problem. Mr. Jordan just uh, put me back in my body. Uh, that's a problem. It could take a while. Why? Well, with the millennium coming, things have really gotten crazy up here. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do in the meantime? Let me make it up to you. We've got a great concert. It's been sold out for an eternity, but I can get you tickets. Oh, it's a dope jam! <laughs> and everybody's rapping, even John Wayne. Yo, ho, ho, pilgrim. Ha, let's get jiggy with it. <laughs> Raise the roof. Go, Biggie. Go, Tupac Shaker. Go, Biggie. Throw your wings in the air. Throw them up like an angel that don't care. It's an awesome show. <laughs> no, no, really, really. Uh, I'd love to be at the show, but I, I gotta get back to my family. Um, all right. Come with me. All right. Thanks again, Mr. Jordan. Won't you even stay for the opening act, Louis Armstrong? Bubbles of dust, 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 Oh, yeah. Huh? I really gotta go. Thanks, Mr. Jordan. Get your starter wings. And ladies and gentlemen, do not forget your commandments. Buy five, get five free. <laughs> okay, guys, here you go. Made your favorite hamburgers and french fries. I can't eat giant. Neither can I. We're too worried about that. Well, maybe I could take a little dimple. <laughs> Don't worry. Dad is gonna be fine, and he want you to eat to keep up your strength. What if Dad never gets better? Yeah, my friend Harold's dad, he went to the hospital and he never came back. Nick, don't be afraid. I, I, I'm fine. I, I'm coming home. They can't hear you, Robert. This is terrible. If Dad never comes back, I won't be able to tell him I'm sorry. For what? Well, remember the other day when I couldn't find a hammer? Yeah. Well, I used Dad's new golf club instead. I broke it, and I didn't say anything. Nick, how many times have I told you respect other people's property? And you know what Dad would say if he was here right now. Respect other people's property. <laughs> they know you, Robert. You're raising them well. Uh, thanks, sir. Uh, I owe it all to Jerry, though. Oh, Nick, I feel a little guilty myself. See, last week, I told Dad I was going to the library. Right. And I really went to Kimura's party. <laughs> what? Maybe I was a little hasty. <laughs> I was a good girl. I wish Daddy was here so I could tell him. 
Good for you, baby girl. <laughs> well, I'm gone. Just keep going, TK. Just gonna check around, make sure I got all my stuff. No. Enough stalling. Now you need to get out now. I'm leaving, is all. You ain't gotta treat me like this. You lucky I'm treating you this good. You are the worst mistake my parents have ever made. That's kind of harsh, Zarya. Yes, it is. Oh, please, Nick. He got a gun. And the only reason he went back was to save his reputation. Now get out. I'm gone, Zarya. You're never going to see me again. TK, TK, don't go. Zarya, why did you... TK! That was really mean. Max, I, I gotta do something. Mom and Dad didn't raise us to talk like that. Mom wanted TK gone just as much as I did. But sorry, Nick! I don't want to hear it. Son, she needs to hear it. You, you, you gotta speak your mind. I gotta do something. Zaria, TK's a part of our family. We've all made mistakes in the past, but we've all forgiven each other. That's what being a family's all about. Whoa, you sound like Dad. I know. I don't know what got into me, but I really, really meant it. Maybe you sounded so much like Dad because he was right, Zaria. No, guys. Maybe you were right. It's too late. TK's gone. I wish I could tell Jerry what's going on at home. You can't. It's not time yet. It's my pager. Oh, God. Is somebody in an accident? No, it's God. I gotta go. <laughs> uh, but, but Max, wait, wait, I, I need your help. Max. Jerry, I'm so sorry. I wish there was something I could do. TK. TK. What are you doing here? Yo, Mr. P. I don't know if you can hear me, but I have some things I need to say. It's kind of funny, but... the day you caught me stealing from you was the best day of my life. And you and Mrs. P took me in and didn't let me get away with anything. It really did make me a better person. I mean, but I have to tell you about good people. <laughs> Look at the job you've done with your kids. I'm gonna miss being one of them. But most of all, I'm gonna miss you. I love you, Mr. P. TK. We need to talk. Don't worry, Mrs. P. I know how you feel. I'm leaving. That's not it. I, um... Uh, I said some really harsh things to you, and I, I'm sorry. No, I deserved it. I called someone you loved to get hurt. Yes, you did. But that somebody would forgive you. And so should I. Sorry, okay, Mom. We thought you might be hungry, so we brought you some dinner. I'm sorry, I think we should forgive TK and That's what I was about to say. Um I'm really happy that you're here. Uh, Honey, Dad? Dad? Sweetheart. Uh, oh. My head. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my booty. <laughs> My golf club. Golf club? 
Yeah, Nick. I know you broke my golf club. Who told you? It doesn't matter. And I know, Zaria, you went to the party instead of going to the library. How did you know that? Never mind. And I also know my little girl's the perfect angel. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Jerry, I'm glad to be home. Good. And TK, people make mistakes. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Mr. P. I'm the luckiest man alive. No, Dad. We're the lucky ones. Let's just check the book. Check the book? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not too fast, Max. You're still on probation for that mishap with all those sailors. I am not on probation. They even have Elvis Presley there. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go back to Earth in Minnesota and make an appearance at a burger joint. I love that. Uh, no, no, I, I really gotta go home. That was the worst Elvis I've ever heard. Right? <laughs> I, I gotta get back. To 